So this is a video on how to add the flex bay to your R730 XD system. I could not find a specific tutorial for this, although it should be fairly similar to the R720. I will put a link in the description to a tutorial on how to install the R720 XD flex bay if you have that model. But uh, yeah, so you'll need the backplane, power cable, communication cable, and the SAS cable for your system. Along with caddies, of course, and I just have some random solid state drives installed in those for now that I plan on using. So yeah, let's crack this open. All right, well, ignore this here. Um, I'm just gonna actually take this out of the way for this. I, uh, I'm using a boot drive to go in the windows for this server. Um, you'll have to remove the air baffle, the CPUs, to access everything you need. And this will just be a simple slide and fit. You want to be aware of this slot here, which one of the tabs will slide into. So just kind of angle it in. And then you want to make sure the PCB lines up with the little notches in the case along the uh, edges of it. There's three spots. And then if you have it lined up correctly, you should just be able to gently push it down. And you'll see that that little tab goes through and then just push it forward until the little blue release locks into place and should be in there fairly stable looks like it has a little wiggle to it but that's by design then you'll need to plug in the power cable and it is labeled probably doesn't matter but um one side says bp for backplane one side says motherboard or mb for motherboard so We'll plug those in. Let's see here. Oops, it goes this way. Now just tuck that down and under. And here's the uh, communication cable. Same deal. Labeled BP and MB. Oops. I would assume that you could probably plug it in either way, but might as well do it the way they recommend. And, uh,. That'll go in the uh, port right next to the power connector for the backplane. And then straight in to that. And then you'll have your SAS cable, which is also labeled. Um, also, it says which port to plug it into. So this goes in the backplane SAS A1, which will be this port here. And it looks like you'll have to remove your fan tray to get to it. So let's do that real quick. And I'm just going to plug this in and feed it backwards. If you buy the kit used like I have, the cables will probably already have some bends in them from the uh, previous install, which will kind of help you get a feel for how to route the cable. But it just kind of routes in the cable channel along the side. And then plugging it in might be tricky. There we go. Got a little bit of slack here. And I think I'm just going to actually feed this through. Just like that. So then, obviously, you want to reinstall the fan tray. Make sure that the cables are clear of the uh, locating pins. And then uh, the fan shroud and cover and should be good to go. You will have to obviously configure your RAID controllers accordingly for the new discs that you add. And in my case, I will probably be using these for ESXi boot drives. Because apparently with the newer versions of ESXi, they recommend you use solid state drives and not USB or SD cards. So uh, yeah, hopefully that's helpful and thanks for watching.